Okay, algebraic expressions. I'm going to teach you everything you need to know as an algebra student or whatever math level you're taking. I'm going to teach you all the fundamental uh, things about algebraic expressions, and it's pretty simple. So that's uh, just ahead. Uh, before we get started, um, if you're new to my YouTube channel, I literally have hundreds of videos that I think you'll find very helpful. So I hope you consider being, uh, becoming a subscriber. And uh, if you're looking for you know, additional really comprehensive step-by-step -step, uh, instruction. I have a math academy. I'll leave a link in the description in the video if you're interested in checking out my courses. But with that being said, let's get into algebraic expressions. So <clears throat> let's take a look at what this means. And let's do this by looking at the two uh, root words here. So one is algebra, right? And the other one here is expressions. So what does this mean? Well, let's start with the expression part first. So something like this is an example of an expression. I'm just kind of writing a few things down here. Let's see, maybe something like this. Okay, these two things are, are examples of expressions in mathematics, okay? Notice I said mathematics and not algebra. Let's just keep it kind of general expressions. Now, why are they expressions? Because they're expressing something, okay? Basically, they're just making a statement. They're, it's just some numbers and some operations. Now, this is in contrast to things that are different, okay? What if I have an equal sign, and let's say, let's put another number over here, let's say 20. Now, this right here is an equation. So if I have this, I would, I would refer to this as an, a a, uh, an equation, and because it has a variable, this could be an algebraic equation. We want to kind of give it a little bit more description. So in mathematics, we have expressions, and we have equations, and we also have things like inequalities, okay? So if you have something with the inequality symbol, that you would refer to that as an inequality, not an equation or an expression, with an equal sign, okay, that's an equation, not an expression. And then if you just have something all by itself, like so, these are just expressions, okay? Now, of course, I'm going to be getting into it, uh, what an algebraic expression is, but let's, let's, let's first just start with a numeric expression. So we have algebraic expressions and we have numeric expressions. So right here, this is an example of a numeric expression. Why? Because it just involves numbers, okay? As soon as you have a variable uh, thrown into the mix, you have an algebraic expression. So this is a very basic definition of what an algebraic expression is. But let's look at another uh, numeric expression. Okay, let's, let's, I'm just gonna make something up here. <clears throat> so this right here we refer to as a numeric expression. And in order to simplify this numeric expression, we need what? The order of operations, correct? <clears throat> so all this ties in. So I can give you a, a problem. I say simplify the numeric expressions. You say, oh, okay, I have to do all these calculations. So I'm going to use the order of operations. So pretty much kind of, uh, um, you know, the same approach when we're, we're talking about algebra. But there are going to be some some things that are specific to algebra and algebra uh, fundamentals. And I'm going to get into that next. Okay, so first things first, I wanted you to understand what the word expressions um, are in mathematics in general. Okay, so we have numeric expressions and we have algebraic expressions. Okay, now let's go ahead and take this a step further in our algebraic expressions. So let's take something like this. Um, just making things up here. All right, so oftentimes when you're just starting to, to, to learn algebra, you're given algebraic expressions, and what um, uh, the, your teacher wants you to know is how to simplify algebraic expressions. So this is one of the things that you're going to be asked to do. So to simplify an algebraic expression, what you want to look for are combining things that are, are um, alike, okay? So things that are like. So what are like items in an algebraic expression? Well, we can combine numbers, all right? So numbers you can always add up, right? And then we have these items here, these variable components to our expressions. So each one of these guys here is called a term, 
Okay, so when we're looking at algebraic expression, the things that have variables, we, uh, we refer to them as terms. So a term, let's take a look at this term here, 2x, has uh, a couple different components to it. One, it has a variable, okay, and then the number in front of the variable is referred to as a coefficient, okay? So this uh, term here, 2x, has a coefficient of 2, and its variable is x, okay? This term here, 5x, has a coefficient of 5, and its variable is x. So what we're looking to do in algebraic expressions is to simplify them, okay? We want to make them as simple as possible. So we tr what we're going to do is combine numbers. So we're going to add these guys up here in a second. And then we're going to see if we can combine these two terms, okay? We can combine two terms if they're like, all right? So we have to ask ourselves, are these like terms, okay? Well, here's the key. Here's how you know if two terms are like. Their variable parts, okay, have to be exactly the same. Okay, so for example, um, and, and well, let me just say this much. In, these, in this case here, they both have exactly an x, so we can combine them. So we're going to do that here in a second, but let's, let's take a look at something. If I have 2x and 5x, these are like terms because they have exactly <clears throat> the variable x. Okay, but what if I have 2x and 5x squared? Okay, now they're pretty close, but this is an x squared, this is an x. So these are not like terms, okay, and these are, okay, these are like, like terms, okay. Now, the variable components can be much more complicated. So we can have like, say, 2xyz and 5xyz, so their variable terms here, these parts are exactly the same, so we can combine them, okay? Uh, as soon as one of these are a little bit off, let's say this is z squared, now they're different, now we, they're, they're not like, okay? So one of the big things you need to understand about algebraic expressions is under, this understanding of terms and to, under, uh, to know if terms are like or not like, okay? So again, um, I've done a lot more uh, uh, videos on like terms. If you check them, uh, they're, they're in, in my um, algebra playlist. Uh, so you can check those out. But I think hopefully you got the pretty uh, basic idea. I mean, again, this stuff doesn't have to be difficult. Uh, so let's get, let's get to this problem here. All right, now let me erase this. So we're not too cluttered. All right, so again, when we're... Uh, talking about algebraic expressions, one of the things, one of the most common things you're going to be asked to do is to simplify them. So we're going to look to see if we can combine, combine the components that make up the expression. So what's going to make up an algebraic expression are going to be variable, variable terms, right? And numbers. And these numbers can be fractions, they can be <clears throat> integers, positive, negative, decimals, doesn't make a difference, right? Now, if an expression, again, doesn't have any variables, we're just talking about a numeric expression, not an algebraic expression. So now let's go ahead and combine these like terms. So 2x and 5x, let's, let's go ahead and uh, um, combine these guys. Because they're like, the variables are exactly the same, all we have to do is add the coefficients. So 2 and 5 is 7. So this is going to be 7x, and then the numbers here, we have a, a positive 1 and a positive 9. We just add these guys together. That's going to be 10, okay? And that's it. So this is our answer, all right? So if you were to take this and simplify it, our answer is 7x plus 10, all right? So this is what this is equal to. All right, now you're saying, well, this is an equation. Well, I'm just stating this is equal to this, but you wouldn't be given this as a problem. You would you'd be st you would be told, you know, through, uh, through your directions or teachers to simplify this algebraic expression. So real basic understanding on what that is, okay? Now, another thing we do with algebraic expressions is evaluate. So let's actually just use this problem here. Let's scoot this guy over here right there, 
And you might be asked to evaluate something. Evaluate. So what does that mean? So to evaluate an expression, an algebraic expression, means that we're going to substitute some value in for the variable. And then we're going to uh, simplify uh, what's left. So for example, I could say evaluate the uh, algebraic expression or the expression 7x plus 10 for x is equal to 2. Okay, <clears throat> so what does that mean? Well, it means to re uh, replace the x, okay, the variable, and you, the, you might have multiple variables here, but so whatever variables you're going to be given values for, you're going to replace that variables uh, with the actual value given. So in this case, I want to know what this is equal to when x is equal to 2. So we're going to just substitute this x for 2. Now, I want to um, stress something here. Let me write this out. I'm going to stress something that's critical, critical, critical. So I need you to pay attention. All right, so I'm going to put a big flag here. Pay attention to what I'm going to say. And hopefully you've already been paying attention, but this is extremely important. When you substitute a number in for a variable, you always, always, always use parentheses around that number or that value. So for example, you notice I put the two inside parentheses, uh, parentheses here, okay? Don't do this if it's 7x plus 10 and x is equal to 2 and you're going to substitute that in. So many students, they do this, oh, 7 times 2 plus 10. That gets you <clears throat> in big trouble in math, okay? You must use parentheses, okay? Just take it from me. I've been doing this for many years, uh, including decades, okay? And you can see where students uh, mess up. You don't want to do that. Get in the habit of using uh, parentheses. <clears throat> now, once you've done that, we need to then simplify this remaining numeric expression, and we just use the order of operations. So it's really important that you understand the order of operations when you're dealing with these expressions, okay? Because oftentimes you'll be asked to evaluate an algebraic expression, turning it into a numeric expression, and then you're gonna to have to use your arithmetic skills, your knowledge of fractions, positive, negative numbers, order of operations, et cetera, to simplify this down. Now, this is extremely, easy problem to do. It's a very basic, right? So 7 times 2, I'm going to do multiplication before addition. This is going to be, what, 14 plus 10. So my answer is 24. So I'm done. But, you know, these problems can get much more uh, sophisticated, if you will. You know, more variables where they're asking you to evaluate the fractions and decimals. Um, so you have to practice this stuff. But it's, you know, what I find with students is if you don't understand the basic, the basic idea behind the concept, then you're going to, you know, um, likely struggle. So hopefully in this video, you know, we broke down what an algebraic expression is, how that differs from a numeric expression and what you, what we typically do with them. Okay. Remember the first thing we typically do with algebraic expressions are, is to simplify them. And the second thing that you may be asked to do is to evaluate in expression, all right? Definitely key core concepts you have to master in basic algebra. All right, let's go ahead and wrap up this video. So again, <clears throat> I hope you uh, become a uh, subscriber. You know, I definitely love to teach and I would enjoy uh, having you as a student. If you do subscribe, make sure you hit that bell notification. And if you, um, you know, like this video, a thumbs up won't hurt as well. <laughs> and leave me some feedback. Uh, let me know how I'm doing. It gives me uh, a sense of how to improve and gives me ideas on what I can do, what uh, other topics I can teach to help you out. Um, again, if you like my teaching style and you really want to uh, learn, you know, in a, with my comprehensive courses, which I really get into all this in a much more formal and and uh, detailed way. I'll leave a link in the description of this video. Um, and I have various courses that you, that you can take from me, uh, middle school, high school uh, level, uh, mathematics, test prep, etc. But with that being said, I um, hope you uh, learned something about algebraic expressions. And um, thank you for your time and have a great day.